All right. How about a uh, good luck? What do you think? Oh! Oh! oh, you're evil. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the one and only Mr. Steve Arzende! We used to live in a 350 square foot apartment. We'd just stand and stare at each other. No other distractions, nothing. I mean, we slept in a twin bed. Every night, we'd just we'd roll over and sometimes I would just be inside of her. I didn't even know why. It was like Tetris, it was like that piece. It's like, that's where that fits, okay. We'll worry about the rest later on. That was it. Now we sleep on a California King Tempur-Pedic. Yeah, we have sex, we're done, we high five each other. I roll over three times. I'm in my own hemisphere. I could probably have sex with somebody else on my side of the bed. She wouldn't even know about it unless I told her. That's the Tempur-Pedic commercial I want to see, by the way. You know? <laughs> that wine glass going up and down. I want to see one dude just <laughs> drilling somebody else. Where he's like... <laughs> I'm with stupid t-shirt. <laughs> if you have kids, you need a big bed. You do. Because by 6 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> looks like a Haitian float. There's like 10 people hanging on. Half of them are naked. It smells like piss everywhere. There's crumbs of food on the ground. Speaking of floats and rafts, uh, my favorite story from last year is still the Rob Conrad story. And maybe some of you know about it, but Rob Conrad uh, used to be a professional football player for a couple of years, played for Miami, then he retired. And he lives in Florida, in Miami, with his wife and his kids. And last year, he was fishing about 10 miles off the shore of Miami. And he, as he's fishing, he's by himself, a rogue wave comes and knocks him off the boat and then capsizes the whole boat. So now this guy is in the middle of the ocean, six o'clock at night, in a life vest, no boat, no one's around. So what does this guy do? He swims nine miles back to the shore of Miami, in the dark, in the ocean at night. Nine <laughs> miles. I have no comprehension of what that must have felt like. I'm gonna, let me ask you a question, okay? You're put in the exact same situation, sir. How many miles do you think you make it? Honestly, be honest with yourself and all the people that are here. A quarter mile. Did you say a quarter mile? <laughs> quarter miles, very honest. A quarter mile is, the, yes, that's an honest answer, sir. That's like not giving up too soon, but you're like, I'm gonna give it an effort, but there's no way I'm making it to the beach. <laughs> Here's how far I would make it. I would swim until something grazed my foot, a sea creature, and then I would just be like, click, 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 blah, 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 right to the bottom of the ocean. Done.